consider music a language, but it's unlike any other language that we speak. Although music is a human creation, confined and defined by certain conceptions of the status quo, the message of music is universal and timeless. Language is often used as a vocabulary of identification in describing a rich cultural history, in pondering the present moment, or reflecting upon the future. But the subject of music is no one certain sect of civilization. Rather, the subject of music is humanity itself in all of its complexities and generalizations. Music strikes a chord deep within me as its capture of emotion is truly existential and quite clarifying regarding certain aspects of my life. So how is it that I've come to tell a story of sound in which I profess to intellectualize and intuit the message of music? For me, music is a manuscript on which I superimpose my fears, my hopes, and my dreams. I become part of the music and the music becomes part of me. I see myself in the music, and the music can be seen in me. To me, music has an advantage over the human condition in its immortality. While humans are ceaselessly reminded of their finitude, their expiration, music is seemingly endless in its vitality and in its variation. This quality of immortality, complemented by the endless interpretive value of music, lends music a sense of perfectibility. Now perhaps it's just a noble lie, but if perfection really is attainable, and if music does spark that eternal flame, then music is an imitation of perfection itself, a dramatic art that affords humans a sense of sublime satisfaction. As may be apparent, I love intellectual analysis, <laughs> rich interpretations of rationality, and a fascination with the ideal. For it is the concoction of emotions, the hope and optimism that impel our will to live, the cynicism and failures that drag us down. It is these human experiences that music describes so beautifully, with such nuance as to have God himself lend an ear. Indeed, for me, music is a, is a spiritual passion, not in a religious sense, but in an introspective sense, as understanding music as a method of understanding oneself. In this sense, art is a tool of reflection. In its process, art distills the most fundamental human emotions and conveys the nature of these emotions influencing our conceptions of morality and aestheticism. The form of art with which I am most experienced is piano performance. And to me, the aesthetics of piano are vitalizing and spirited. Each time I sit down to play the piano, I shed the burden of material baggage and I move into a realm of ideas, a realm that is liberating and tantalizing. I'll play a piece for you now called The Waltz Oublié, or The Forgotten Waltz by Franz Liszt. In my interpretation, the piece is an ode to retrospection, in which Liszt musically describes the bittersweet poignancy of nostalgia and the heart of melancholy. So the piece starts off with four clear notes. each filled with a sense of despondency and expectation. The piece then reviews a series of fleeting memories, some morose, some beautiful, but each distinctly evocative. Thank you. 
The memories then quicken as the recollections flitter through the subject's mind. The subject struggles with the past and the present, love and loss. Finally, this pressure is released in the following sec in the following section, which speaks about the significance of memory and its yearning for recognition and in its spirit of recollection. Marvelous. Moments in which I'm trying to interpret the conveyance of Liszt's message, moments in which I'm weaving the emotional narrative of my own life into the notes of the waltz, simply put, moments in which I feel most alive. These moments are food for existential thought as I approach a sense of satisfaction in trying to understand the effect of the music and its subliminal messages. In this sense, I urge all of you to do what you love to, su to succeed. As we each experience these moments in our own way, enjoying a sense of pure happiness with something or someone, these moments are often powerful in their personal significance and profoundly human in their message. Ultimately, these moments of joy and satisfaction are vitalizing as perfection is at the tip of your fingers, and truth is just a moment's notice away. Thank you very much.